Dear friend, I'm talking to you. And although you don't know me, even though you've never walked next to me, even though you know nothing about my life, I feel you as a brother, as a child, as a father. You don't know my name, don't worry. I represent many, and you can address any of us whenever you feel like. As you, we are human. We feel, we get happy, sad, we dream, we make mistakes, we get right, we sin and we get over it, we get old. We get sick, we die. There was once upon a time, when I was a kid, like you. I used to dream with fantasy worlds. I dreamed with crossing the sky, conquering the world. At university, I was able to do my dream degree. New friends, new people, and the world to conquer. I found my first job. Life smiled upon me. I was somebody. One day, in my city, a youth cross got on my way and I could not avoid it. Some young people were carrying it along the squares of the city. Without realizing, I was carrying it on my shoulders. It was then when I became aware. I had always belonged to that family. August 2011. Some friends invited me to the World Youth Day in Madrid. An idea had been round and round on my head for some time. That day, when I was surrounded by thousands of people, the doubt suddenly disappeared. It was then when I felt the pain. My heart was split up among professional success and my true vocation. I owe so much to all. Have you ever felt the grass below your bare feet, or the wind whispering in your ears? Have you ever felt part of everything, of the world, of the universe? I listened to him. I felt those words on my heart. They cannot be heard by your ears, because they're just on the air. They're like the sunshine on my face in a warm autumn evening. The voice I heard was Christ's. My vocation, a gift that exceeds me. It wasn't a present for me only. I shall be a gift for the world as he was. How come was I going to carry out the task I was commanded? How would I love without fear? How was I going to come out to the world if the society in general insists on keeping us close within the sacristy. One day, I looked at the world with other eyes, as the Lord used to look. 
as it happened to him, my heart was moved. Blessed are the poor. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the land. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after justice, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they that suffer persecution for justice sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they shall revile you, and persecute you, and speak all that is evil against you, and truly for my sake. Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is very great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets that were before you. A Christian has to go against a stream. Being a Christian is a challenge to fulfill heroic deeds. Being a priest means being in the world and for the world. It means going further than established, than ordinary, challenging your limits for the sake of love for others in Christ. Being a priest means being able to say yes to the call of Christ. Being a priest is a gift one cannot deserve.
priests are the courage of God for a world that needs them, searches them. Dear friend, I'm talking to you, and although you don't know me, even though you've never walked next to me, even though you know nothing about my life, I feel you as a brother, as a child, as a father. You don't know my name, don't worry. I represent many, and you can address any of us whenever you feel like. As you, we are human, we feel. We get happy, sad, we dream, we make mistakes, we get right, we sin, and we get over it. We get old, we get sick, we die. And we leave.